because you was raised on secular humanism and socialism and, uh, you know, man is inherently good and you really, we were not taught spiritual things. We don't understand the spirit world. We don't understand there's a real devil. There's a, a guy named Satan that was Lucifer and he has people in this earth that are doing his will for him. Take his ringing out of this mic. Do some take his ring. It's ringing too loud. Amen. So because we, uh, because we don't, uh, un we were not taught uh, the true nature of man. Say the true nature of man. We were not taught the true nature of man without God because when we were, everybody was telling us we were good all the time, even without God. So we don't know that the true nature of man is to continually do evil. That's what the Bible says in Genesis 6. That's why God destroyed the earth. He said, because man's heart is just continually to do evil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the true nature of man is to continue to do evil. That's why we needed a savior who would come and set man free. The problem with this is we don't understand there are people. The Bible calls them the seed of the serpent. There are the seed of the serpent. There are people who are actually planted in this earth to, that know the devil. They worship Satan. They know that Lucifer is, is their God. They know, they know some of them know they're going to hell. They are the seed of the serpent. They've been planted in this earth to do the will of, God, to do the, will of the enemy. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are y'all there? The Bible describes it in Matthew when it talks about uh, 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 a good man sowed good seed in his field, and when the men slept, the enemy came in and sowed weeds amongst the wheat, and the, the masses, the, the, the servant said, let's go pull up the weeds, and the master said, no, don't pull them up, let them both grow up together. That means the good and the evil is growing together at the same time, so Satan has a seed growing, God has a seed growing, say amen. Satan's seed is fulfilling, Satan's seed is setting the world up for the Antichrist. To a reign. The Bible even says that there are kings that give their power to the beast in Revelations. It talks about when the, before the Antichrist comes, there will be kings, there will be men. I don't know if it's necessarily kings, it could just be powerful, rich men who big multi corporation type men who give their power to the beast, who give their power to the Antichrist. Then you have us, those that are in the earth, that are established in the kingdom of God so that all the kingdoms can be translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Say amen. So God is. God is, bringing, is using his kids to bring it all together, and Satan is using his kids to bring it all together. So you got light coming together. I mean, you got light getting lighter and darker getting darker. Listen to what I'm telling you. Light is getting lighter. Dark is getting darker. That's why the Bible says if, 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 the Bible says if, 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 if a man is um, if a, if a man is asleep, let him be asleep still. Let him sleep on. Are you understanding what I'm saying? In other words, if you're in darkness, you're going to stay in darkness. What do you think strong delusion is? A person is in darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Those that are in the light get lighter. As Jesus comes, people are going, as we get deeper into the end times, people are going to start to realize that the Christians were right. The problem is the, 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 the Satan's kids are going to be on top of the authority, the political system that will be able to persecute us. But people are going to understand the Christians were telling the truth after they see what they thought was going to be a utopia when they get the tolerance and let's let the gays do what they want to do, let everybody do what they want to do. They're going to realize that once you take the people with the true morality out, you're going to have Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. Where men going to rape you in the, in, in the bathrooms and, you know, even if you really understood, oh, do I got time to go into this? So when you really understand this, I told you all before, this had nothing to do with rights and had nothing to do with love and people loving each other. It has to do with destroying the law of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay, I'm not going to go too deep in there because I want to, I want to, I got some slides. I want to get, get pretty far. I want to give you some information. Okay, so the conspiracy is so big that people can't believe it. When they, when they hear it, it's like, no, it can't be because why would they do that? Don't people, people love, people are good. And this is the, what happened to us where we have been conditioned to not know evil. We're conditioned to not understand evil. Evil's now fun. Evil's now good. Witchcraft is now play. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Sex is uh, free. No consequences to it. So are you understanding what I'm saying? Evil is now good. The Bible says in the last day they're going to call wrong right and right wrong. Lucifer really is now good to people. They may not call him Lucifer, but they, they follow his ways. They may y'all don't hear. They may not think they worship in Satan, but they worship his ways. So right is wrong, and wrong is right. So we got to be living in the last days. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Are y'all there? So, so let, let let me let me give you a little bit here.
Okay, the New World Order. The New World Order is being erected, and it's the biggest threat humanity has ever faced. Now, you say, what is the New World Order? Well, if you turn the back of your $1 bill over, you will find that this thing was, was, was ingrained in the foundation of America. Now, uh, before we go into, uh, Satan has done a good job using fake Christians. I got to upload the message from Wednesday called the, t the Season of the Frost of Brethren because this is what happened in the conception of this nation. These cats came here and said they were Christians, but we know by their actions they were not. None of them founding fathers were Christians. They are liars. Are you hearing what I'm saying? George Washington was a Freemason. We know that for a fact. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of them were deists. And many of them were Luciferians. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The back of the dollar is an occultic message showing what this country was founded for. It was founded to birth the New World Order Seclorum or New World Order, New Secular Order, or to cause the world to become under one government or New World Order. That's what America was built for. That's the reason why these cats, these, these, these Christians, and mainly, to be honest, these white theologians try to say these four founding fathers was Christian, but they never mentioned Jesus in the, constitu in the Constitution or Declaration. They never mentioned Jesus. They never mentioned the Holy Spirit. They talk about providence, and they talk about, you know, this deity or creator, which could be anybody that you, if you don't call his real name. We know they were not Christian because they owned slaves. So you can't be a Christian and treat, not just that they own slaves, because only slaves not wasn't necessarily wrong if you read the book of Philemon uh, in the New Testament when Paul was telling Onesimus how to treat, I mean, he was telling Philemon how to treat Onesimus, like you treat him like a brother. If you do have a servant, you treat the servant like a brother. So they couldn't have been Christian because they treated us worse than animals. So they couldn't have been Christians. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Now, they throw that junk up all the time, but they ain't going to pull that small time stuff on me. I have studied that. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? And all our life, we've been told these founding fathers was Christians and they was righteous and, and they, 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 all of that stuff. But in reality, they wasn't. That's why when you study Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C., the streets are laid out with occultic symbols. Every one of the Washington, D.C. streets is laid out with occultic symbols. They was creating Babylon. That's why we have the Pentagon, the, the, the greatest uh, 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 witchcraft symbol, that five-pointed star, is the Pentagon, which is where the Pentagon has killed and murdered more people anywhere in the world. They are the, they, they are the arm of the beast. The Bible says that the Antichrist will be about military might. He will, he will, he will build a system based on military might. Because he wants to rule you. It's not going to be manipulation. We're being manipulated now. What he's coming with is that mark of the beast where it's going to be you're going to do it or you're going to die. And he's going to have the military to back it up. That's why they spying on you and they tracking you now. They're getting you, you they, they coming out with more and more technology. Put, now they got a watch where you can get a watch and be online. They got glass where you're going to be online. They're conditioning you to where they're going to put that thing in your body and it's just tracking you. This is the beast. Uh, technology. It wasn't possible for the enemy to do this because technology needed to be increased. Like the book of Daniel says, shut up the book to the end until uh, knowledge is increased. So the enemy couldn't do that. Daniel was about ready to reveal the Antichrist if you were studying the book of Daniel. He was about ready to talk and he said, and the angel said, no, 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 don't, 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 don't write this right here. Not time for y'all to understand this because you need more knowledge. Knowledge has to be increased. So now we have the knowledge where the, we have enough knowledge for the Antichrist to actually track every man, woman, girl, boy. Say man. So that's the New World Order. The New World Order is a, I'm going to get deeper into this, but I just want to give you, when you hear this term, I know we hear this term a lot, but this term basically is, is, is about, uh, uh, if, if, if you go back to uh, before Genesis 6, the Bible talks about the Tower of Babel. And uh, 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 Nimrod was the first king, and Nimrod established Babylon. Babylon was, the, was that ancient, occultic, mystic religion where fallen angels had taught men to usurp the order of God and operate in power that was, not, that was forbidden. That's what the occult is. When, you, when people we talk about the occult, you're talking about hidden knowledge. In other words, stuff that God told men not to do because to use this knowledge, you have to use devils. You have to use demons. Demons operate with this type of knowledge. So that's why people think they have power, but it's just demons doing it. That's why people watching all these movies and paranormal and doors are slamming, and they trying to figure out why is these psychics right. Yeah, they're telling you an accurate word, but it's by the help of devils. 
Are you understanding what I'm saying? And if you get into that, you're going to have to worship that devil with a drink offering, blood offering, some type of something. You're going to have to do sex offering. This is why the Bible talks about that the, the God said he hates that prophetess Jezebel because she teaches my children uh, um, sexual immorality and to eat things sacrificed to idols. So idols, the Bible talks about demons. So, so in order to uh, operate in the occult knowledge, you have to sacrifice to demons. You have to worship demons in some form. And to worship demons is through food, through money, through sex, through, through some type of evil, through blood sacrifices. And this is why the occult is always about that. If you understand anything, anything about roots and voodoo, you know they're always cutting chickens and using blood because that's a sacrifice to a demon. They're invoking demons to carry out a plan. The devil makes them think they're in control, but really it's the demon motivating them to do it. I, I, ain't got, I ain't got time to go into that. Are y'all there? So the New World Order is there, there's, there's an elite group, amen, that really truly runs the world. I'm going to get into it. All right. The agenda is orchestrated by a power elite that thinks it has divine rights to commandeer total control of our lives. In other words, there are families that the richest families, you never hear about them because they own all the media. So they're not going to report on themselves. And these are the families that you seldom hear about, but they are the ones behind the banks. They are the ones behind the Federal Reserve systems. Amen. In other words, they own your money. If they, uh, anybody own your money, they own you. Because debt, the Bible says, if you, uh, the, the, the borrower will be slave to the lender. So this is the reason why they get over the money system. They could care less about anything else. They know if I, if I got you in debt, I, got, I, own, I own you. Are y'all there? Let's go here. It is a menace to each, each and every one of us individually. It is a danger to our family, our way of life, and our children's future. Now, who are the power elites? Who are the power elites? Now, what I'm going to show you is uh, I want you to study some of this out for yourself. Now, these are the power elites. The Council on Foreign Relations, the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, the Royal Institute of Eternal Affairs, the Club of Rome, the Bilderberg Group, and the United Nations. These are the elite that are running the world. They ain't got nothing to do with no presidents. Has nothing to do with a president of no country because this, these, these elites run everything through multinational corporations. In other words, they buy up. That's why you, you just see how Comcast just bought Time Warner. You like everything's merging because they buy. That's how they control you. They control you like GE owns a whole lot more than what you think GE owns because they control you. Because if they control the product, if they control the, all the jobs, then they control that region. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Okay. So these are the the, the six uh, uh, power elite groups that come together and plan the world. Now, you got to understand these groups, the majority of these people are Freemasons, and most of them are Luciferians. In other words, they've already decided that they're going to serve Lucifer. You got that. Their job is to bring about the atmosphere for the Antichrist to reign, which you need darkness and you need chaos. You need darkness and you need chaos, because really at the back of that dollar, one translation means out of chaos. It means out of chaos. He comes out of chaos. That's why they got to to collapse the economies, make war all over the world, uh, lie about global warming, stuff that, it's all lies, because they're trying to create chaos. They, I'm going to show you all even these weapons they got, why we can't get out of this winter. Y'all see, the conspiracy is so monstrous, when people come face to face with it, they can't believe it existed. It's too big. It blows the mind of people, because it's like the Matrix. How when he found out we was, he was living in a false world, his mind couldn't take it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I'm throwing this stuff out so you can take your little notes and you can study it for yourself. All right? All right. This is just a little breakdown of, uh, 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 this is just a little breakdown of what you saw. These are some of the uh, organizations, the institutions, the, uh, the groups, the philosophies that these people run, and if you start from the Committee of the 300, which is these are the 300 most powerful people in the world, and you look at the United Nations and the member of nations, I don't have my pointer with me, um, uh, the, over here, then you look over here, this is their philosophies, it's Zionism, Communism, Fabianism, liber, Liberalism, Socialism, the right wing parties, all of this is under the same thing, if you, now you can, I, I, if you want to copy this, just tell, ask me, I'll, get, I'll, I'll email you a copy, but this is basically how they're running the world, through these think tanks and small groups. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is how they run in the world. Are y'all got that? Okay. Secret society. The term secret society is used to describe fraternal, brotherly, friendly organizations that may have cer uh, secret ceremonies ranging from the common and innocuous, uh, an innocuous, harmless, to mythical organizations with self-serving financial or political agendas, global reach, all, and often Luciferian satanic beliefs. That means the majority of these uh, power elite are part of the secret societies. Okay, now most of these uh, secret societies, they seem harmless. We elect presidents, but they're part of the secret society. Most of the presidents are part of the secret society. Most of the presidents are Freemasons, or if they're not Freemasons, they're part of the skull and bones, they're part of these secret societies, because you cannot rule unless you're part of them. Presidents are picked, they're not elected. That's the first thing that should blow, that's the first thing you gotta come face to face with to mess, to, 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 to mess with your understanding. They're not, how in the world is all the presidents can't have the same bloodline? Obama's kin to Bush, they all got the same bloodline. Every president just about had the same blood, and the ones that didn't, like Kennedy, was killed, but the ones that did got the same bloodline. Oh, y'all oh, don't want to see. You can't teach black folk nothing, man. Unless I'm up here with some music and some shake dances. It's hard to teach black folk anything. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? They have the same bloodline. These bloodlines go back to these 13 families. I, 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 we'll talk about that in a minute. So, uh, so this is the reason why you may think Obama's black. They didn't get him because he's black. He's not black. His mama's white. His mama has the bloodline. His mama has the bloodline. That's why he was elected. If he was all black, he wouldn't have got elected. And if you notice that he's not all black, that's why he ain't doing nothing for your black butt. Ain't you figured it out? He ain't done nothing for you. Ain't done nothing for nobody. You know who he done something for? The people who he was talking about change. Who was he talking to? The gay folk, he wasn't talking to us. We can't get the bill through. He ain't talking to us. We can't get nothing. It's almost like the black community do not exist. But let a gay thing, the guy come out gay, he gives him a phone call. Congratulations. What about the brothers in the hood? You ain't black. His wife is black, but he ain't no black. Yeah, come on, get off of that. He was chosen because he was groomed. He was groomed by these power elite. That's why they sent, that's why he has no birth certificate. He has no records of who he was. Nobody even know where he came from. He has no records. He said he went to one college. They keep trying to find out. He owned, and, and, and it's found out his birth certificate as far as everything was wrong. Power Elites did it because they owned the media, and the media just can make, made us fall in love and just worship and fall down and all that stuff. And so we found out if you really understood, if you didn't just go off the black thing, you knew that you looked at his record and realized, man, this guy got some wicked philosophy. Say, man, and ain't doing nothing for us. I said it. And it's going out. So you know I ain't going to hold it back. All right. Let's go. The mainstream media has actually reported that there is an agenda to create a global government, and it is being implemented by the secret society. So if you, if, when you heard terms like, um, um, they, they call it globalism, uh, they're talking about the New World Order. Everything coming under one umbrella. Everything being ruled by one party and then one person. They're trying to use the United Nations to rule everything, and then they're going to give all that power to one person, which is going to be the, 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 the manifestation of the Antichrist. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So this is the reason why everything's becoming global. That's why all our jobs have been shipped overseas, and they're trying to, do, really, you don't understand what they're doing to America. America was the only thing standing in the way of the New World Order. America, and it wasn't America politics, it was American Christians. Wow, See, the reason why Satan has to deceive us and get us into entertainment and cause us to be so focused on what Lil Wayne said and what the Grammys are doing, and we Christians are supposed to be praying, but we focus on that, because he knows if we ever wake up to the true agenda, we'll start praying. Prayer is what destroys the enemy's uh, works. If the Bible says, if my people that I call by my name will humble themselves and pray, I'll hear from heaven, then I'll mess up Satan's plans. So he distracts Christians. With fake Christians. Oh, boy. He distracts Christians with fake Christians. The fake Christians who, 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 who make real Christians come down off the mountain of Zion, come down into the valley with Cain. Oh, y'all ain't got time to talk about that. The fake Christians that go to church but don't live right, that don't live the word of God. The one that go, the one, y'all don't want to talk about this. 
The one that listened to Tamla Mann and Jill Scott, them the fake Christians. He uses them to bring, oh, y'all ain't hearing me. He uses them to call the, the hot Christians to become lukewarm. And so they knew they had to attack the church so they get some leaders, spineless leaders. And that's why the preachers won't preach nothing. That's why the people think everything's fine. Because the preachers ain't sounding an alarm. Because the preachers are getting money over here. They're getting kickbacks. How do you think they build mega buildings? Because if they would preach the truth, the majority of people would get up because it would, the conspiracy is too monstrous. They would say, uh-uh, I can't believe it's too long. Can't, can't believe that we got to go over here where they find a the sky preaching. Y'all heard what I'm saying? And so this is the uh, reason why the black community has no revelation and why we don't mobilize and why we always are okay with every bad thing. Say amen. amen. Because the, the people who was, had the, has the job to speak the mind of God to the people are in the bed secretly with the political organizations. That's why every time they, you see a murder, they go get one some preacher and throw him a few dollars to come out and just say, we need to stop doing this and we just need to get along. He ain't got no message. He ain't got no, because you know what? In order for him to really be relevant, he gonna have to say, you know, you're dying because of sin. You, you know, you, uh, y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother or, or, so your days will be long. Y'all out here disrespect. Y'all dying because y'all selling dope by your mama house. Y'all don't want to talk about this. So he can't say that because it's not politically correct. And because he has taken political money or because he has done something where they got some extorted thing on his life, he has to go along. That's why we ain't hearing what I'm telling you today. So we on a Titanic they playing the music like everything's fine, not knowing we sinking, everything's going down, but we don't know because we keep hearing the music of the preacher. God is this breakthrough season, harvest destiny, and he ain't putting no revelatory where we are now truth in the people. I said it. So this is the, this is the reason why the elite that's why they own all the entertainment and the media. That's how they got us, Christians. They got us through the media. Now, if you don't believe me, all you got to do is go look up who, just type in Google, who owns all the TV, all the uh, media, who owns the television stations and the music industry, who owns the movie industry, and it'll come up. It's about five people that own it all. They own it all. That's why you only, and they own the news too. So you never even get a real news story. You get what they want you to hear. The real story is over here. You don't get that. That's why they go and shut down YouTube and stuff because people on earth telling a story because they're eyewitnesses that got camera phones showing what it looked like. And over here the news is saying something else. And because we've been so deceived, we, don't, we, we will believe the news over our own eyes. Because the media said it. We will actually believe the news. You be standing right there and can't believe that what you saw was what you saw because they said it wasn't like that. We're conditioned to be fed truth, not to investigate truth, to be fed truth. That's a whole nother topic. Let me get on. This, is, you, this happened to us in school. These, uh, these elite did it through our textbooks. That's why you don't know history, because they took out the true history, gave you a history that would not, they gave you a type of history that would not lead you to enlightenment. Amen. That's why, why, did you, why, why is everybody saying the same thing about school? What am I going to do with this knowledge? Because this knowledge doesn't seem like I can use it for nothing. Amen. Because you was, they taught you something that really did it. They told you it, it, it had merit. They said it meant something. But in your life, it's like, well, when am I going to use it? Now, what you really wanted to know was, who am I? Where's our history? Where do we come from? Well, we always slave. What happened before slavery? Well, how did we get here? What, what? See, you want the real story, but you only got his story. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why you have to have the word of God, because the word of God has to, has to, has to uh, fill the gaps. Let me get on. I'm just saying that to show you why, how we are this way, because Satan is using the, the, the fake, the weeds, to choke out the wheat so that we will receive the new world order as Christians. Beneath the broad tides of human, his society, human history, there flow the stealthy undercurrents of secret societies, which, el- which frequently determine the depth of the changes that take place upon the surface. So in other words, the people who you see are not the ones that are running the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As I, I told you, the, 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 your worst enemy is the one you don't know. If I wanted to destroy you, I would never let you think I was against you. You would never see me. You know you know the worst killer is a ninja. <laughs> you don't know. Ninja just show up at night, just come through, and slit you, and he gone. That's the worst killer. You, you, the ones out there talking all that talk, well, you, he ain't going to do nothing. He's telling you what he's going to do. The real one is the one ain't saying nothing. You don't even know he's your friend. He's cool with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So this is what Satan has done. He's hidden his true men and showed you the ones he wants you to think is your enemy like you black people think Republicans are your enemy. Uh-huh. Satan showed you them. Not You don't even know both of them your enemy. Both of them your enemy. Let me get on. This is the secret society, Skull and Bones, uh, order the Skull and Bones, Yale University. This is where President Bush came out of, uh, him and his daddy, and John Kerry. Now, how these guys against each other? They for the same secret brotherhood. Uh, it was really known as the, as the S of Death. It's the oldest student secret society in the United States. Founded 1832, membership is open to, the, to, a, to a, an elite few. The society used Masonic inspired rituals to this day. Members meet every Thursday and Sunday each of each week in the building they call the tomb and they got rituals and stuff and y'all can go into a lot of stuff that they do but the point I'm trying to make with this right here is that this is the uh, all these secret societies have their basis in Freemasonry now you say well what is Freemasonry? Well Freemasonry wasn't always Freemasonry Freemasonry was Recrucianism and before that it was the Knights Templar and before that actually it was the cults of uh, Egypt and Babylon it was the mystery religions that Nimrod and Samarimus, his wife, was operating in. The mystery religions uh, in Genesis 6, before, uh, before the flood and after the flood, was what we now call the occult, which is how witches got secret knowledge that they know you do this, do this with nature, do this with spells, and say these words, and, and you know stuff can happen. This is what witches do. That's the same knowledge that they operate out of now. This is the reason why they are so rich. They're so rich because they have occultic knowledge. They know what, they already know what, in the, in, the, in the cult world, what to invent. That's why everything they invent has to kill you. It has to be death. It has to be controlled. I ain't got time to even go too deep into that. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So most of the knowledge that, that they have is, I mean, the knowledge that they operate out of, I don't have time to go too deep into this. Both presidents were members of the society while studying the Yale, and a number of, the, of other members have gone to great fame and fortune. So the society is surrounded by conspiracy theories, the most popular of which is probably that the CIA was built on the members of the group, the people that investigate you. Of course, this is the Freemasonry symbols, and uh, all of this is symbolic. It means stuff. If, if I really break it down, it's, this, it's, really, it's really the Temple of Babylon with the, uh, with the, they were phallus worshipers, and it's really got to do with the Temple of Babylon. I showed my wife that the Hunger Games, was the, it was the same thing was set up. They were the same temple. They set up the same temple. If, you, if I could really break it down further, but this 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 model is a model of all false religions. So so I told you before they speak through symbols, because words don't words are not words change throughout decades. Okay, but the only thing only way to keep something current is the symbol will never change. What, that symbol will always mean what it means. So that's why they speak through symbols. See, I don't even need to know if you believe this. If you if you if you flash a symbol or give me a certain shake or, or you know you had a certain symbol, I know that's why I, why they think they got it on the back of their car so everybody can know. So the police know. Are they they part of the side? They don't they leave them alone. Why do you think they got the symbol? The symbol is power. Freemasons conduct their regular meetings in ritualized style. This includes uh, many references to architectural symbols such as compass and square. They refer to God, Lucifer or Satan as the great architect of the universe. That's what they believe. 
this is what they believe. This is why the Bible says in the last day they're going to call wrong, right, and right, right, wrong. Why? Because these people are going to be on top ruling the political world and even the religious world, and they're going to exalt their God. And they believe Lucifer. They don't believe Lucifer. They don't believe he's the one that's going to take them to hell. They think he's the light bearer. He is the, and he's the one that frees man from the bondage of Jehovah God who gave man rules. Listen, in the Garden of Eden, God gave Eve and Adam rules. Where the serpent came along and his, he, he, he deceived the woman into, into living, into, into doing her own will. Living outside of God. Or really, not living outside of God, but what did he tell her? You will be like God. So this is his lie. Is to keep. This is a lie that Lucifer has told the men that are serving him. That you're going to be a God. They don't think they're going to hell. They think they're going to be a God. And he's a deceiver. The Bible says he's a father of lies. Y'all there? I was watching a documentary on Miles Davis. Miles Davis was a deep Satan worshiper. And Miles Davis even said that he knew. He said, you can't get nowhere in this world without, without these Luciferians. He said, it's their power that gets you somewhere. He said, and I believe it. So just to give you some reference that that's how these celebrities are getting powerful. Because they own all of that stuff. Their job was to get over anything that influences men. The Bible says Satan is the prince and the power of the earth, which means he's over communication. Any way where men receive through books, through TV, through any radio, whatever, he's behind it. I don't care how good it look on the outside. Satan is the ultimate, got the ultimate hand in it. So any Christian you see on these stages with the world, trust me, they are not representing Jesus Christ. How can Satan give you a pyramid award, a Babylonian award? How can Satan even judge the worship of God? It's a whole nother level. Why y'all think they give them pyramids? Let's go on. Okay, let me get done. Look at this. Oh, this is just some of the structure. I know you can't see it, uh, but it's just some of the structure of, uh, of um, Freemasonry. You can look this stuff up. It's all, just, just write down emblematic structure, and you can find it. It just tells you the levels and steps that people go. That's why most of the people that are in Freemasonry, most of the people are here. They don't know what they're in. They don't know what it is. They're the ones just walking around. They was told it was Christian. They don't know. Because this thing can, this, the Freemasonry can encompass any, all, anything. So that's why you got Buddhist Freemasons, you got Hindu Freemasons, any, any religion can encompass, because it's all Satan. So uh, most people are at that eight level where they just got into it. They got into it for business connections and just trying to, you know, just trying to run with people who got a little money. Because you do know they all, most of them are rich. I ain't never seen no poor Freemason. Most of them are rich, I got connections. And, uh, and But then as they start going up, they start getting into learning about some of the inner workings. But as they get always, as they get up high enough, they, like somewhere up in there in the middle somewhere, they begin to know this is, they really are serving Lucifer. The books by, by Alba Pike and uh, Manly P. Hall, you can look them up and they'll tell you the whole structure of Freemason. This is important because I want to show y'all uh, some things. Look, this is, uh, now, this is why uh, entertainers show their uh, flashy symbols. Now, y'all know, if you watch these videos and these music awards now, you're you trying to figure out why does all everybody got to have an eye? What does all this got to do? I know there's a lot of conspiracies that people use it, but I'm telling you, uh, in, 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 in all of this craziness, there's a level of truth. So, so these people, the reason why you see it is flashing in videos, they're conditioning the public to accept the, uh, this new world order. They con they're conditioning you through symbols. See, all of your life, you've seen these symbols. All of your life, subliminally, you don't have to know it. You subliminally got in you. Uh, and you have a, and all your life, you've seen these symbols. You see, you, every, every time you look at a dollar, you see in a symbol, you don't know what it is, you don't know, what, but, you, but you're being conditioned by it. Because, uh, uh, well, I think the word is esoterically, it's getting in your system. Y'all got what I'm saying? So they conditioning these people by flashing these one eye signs and all that in music videos. And even though people listen to the music, they don't know they're receiving the whole message. There's a message coming through the music. 
even the video itself is saying or telling you a message. That's why a lot of videos don't go along with the music. You try to figure out what does this got to do with the song? Because they are they using the music the same way they use video games to initiate you. Come on, talk to me. Every video game has to do, it's set up like Freemasonry. First level, you got a little bit of power. You keep fighting, you get stronger. You get another power. You get that's witchcraft. That's what witchcraft is. You get another spirit to give you another power. That's what Hinduism is. Get another spirit, get another power, get another spirit, get another power. That's why most of the stuff that we into, it keeps leading you deeper to because why what does man crave? What did Satan say Adam and Eve didn't have power? I'm gonna give you God know you're gonna be like him. So the goal is to everything has to do with keep going until you get to God state, Godhood. And when you get to Godhood, you don't need God. You don't need a God. You are. So that fits every that fits every teaching that they have. Every false religion teaching that somehow you even 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 Catholicism. You keep penitencing and going to penitence until you become righteous enough. That's why, why you think Paul said that we are saved by grace through faith, Amen. not of works, lest any man will boast. Because Paul was over here looking at these Romans, realizing they was Romans over here working to be saved. Yeah. Over here doing all these pins, crawling on their knees and do, beating themselves and flatching and, and whooping themselves, trying to be saved. Yeah. Paul said, you ain't saved through works, you saved by, you ain't saved by grace, yeah. through faith. Say amen. He started looking at these Jews who went back under the old covenant that Jesus got them free from. They went back under the covenant, kept circumcising themselves, and kept on drinking, pulling out drink offerings and blood offerings. And he said, look, man, you are free from that. When Christ said it's finished, he tore the veil. You no longer have to go back in the Old Testament and kill animals and go back again. But Satan keeps taking them back. Even you. You got saved, you was walking in liberty all of a sudden. You start working for God, working to be saved. Instead of walking in the grace or the freedom wherewith he gave it to you. Let me get on. Secular humanism is, Lucifer, is Luciferianism in disguise. Humanism is the notion that man can build a utopia based on reason. Humanism holds that man is already divine and therefore free to indulge his appetite and reject God. This is why this, this drips in every movie, every sitcom, every piece of music. It drips humanism. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where man is so special. Matter of fact, you hear people talk about, they sort of say stuff like, man is inherently good. Really what they're saying is man is divine. The true, the true, uh, the true, the truth behind um, the new age, which includes Hinduism, uh, tantric yoga, yoga, Buddhism, all of this stuff mixed together. The truth is that man is uh, evolving into his godhood because he was brainwashed, listen, by that creator God. They called him the creator God. He brainwashed man into believing man was not good enough, so he gave man a lot of laws. So man has to cast out restraint and laws and then he begins to evolve into his real self which is a divine God being that's what they teaching folk that's why people are talking about I'm God they're talking about they God now y'all there this is the mindset that the power elite need the world to get into to bring their false Christ their false Messiah too much Okay, the Illuminati does not require, now, now this, these pyramid symbols, y'all probably hear people talking about Illuminati. It just means the enlightened ones. It means the people who really understand the craft. It's the power elite. There's some people on lower levels, but most of these people they say in Illuminati, they ain't no Illuminati because most of these black people they ain't going to let it know Illuminati. All these rappers ain't no Illuminati. They, they are racist. They ain't let no black. They use them for puppets to, 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 to influence the masses. 
to receive the message, but they ain't no Illuminati. They use it rapper to make us go after their program, which is sex, money, drugs, and say so focused on that that we don't focus on who Jesus Christ is and we die and go to hell. But they show ain't let no black people up in no Illuminati. So stop it. <laughs> these rappers ain't got enough money. It ain't even it, they talk about millions and these guys got trillions. It's a whole different level of uh, it's a whole different level of quantity easing. Okay, so anyway, the Illuminati, the, with the Illuminati, this means the, el the elite, the people who are enlightened, who are bringing the enlightened one or the light bearer, which they call Lucifer, the son of the morning. Y'all got that? The Illuminati does not require a belief in a supreme being. That's why he works in all different religions, even in among atheists. This is this and the fact that most members were humanists is a reason of the, for the widespread relief that Illuminati wants to overthrow organized religion. So it doesn't need a belief in a deity. That's why everybody can incorporate with it because it, it, you don't have to. It don't matter who you say you worship. You can worship Allah. It don't matter. It all they are, they, they can get down with whoever is what it's saying. Anybody can be incorporated with them. It is believed. It is believed that they wish to create a one world government based on humanist and atheist principles. Think about that. How would it be without the love of God? Without the Holy Spirit shedding love in your heart towards you, somebody. Think about a person who, 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 think about a person who had demonic unforgiveness, never would forgive you. What could they do? They're murderers. That's why the Bible, see, the, see, they, see that's, why, that's why you're going to see, what, what, what's the first thing the Antichrist starts to do? Murder. Kill everybody. Why? Because that's what's in his heart. That's what's in his heart. These people, these type of people, elite, they're the ones behind the wars. That's why it's always murder, wars, murder, murder, murder. Because that's what's in their heart. They don't care about humanity or people. You are, you're expendable. Actually, they really want to depopulate the world. Okay, this is another pyramid structure. I don't have time to really get into it. I know some of y'all can't see it. It's just another structure. But this is one I want to show you. Okay, this is basically the, the layout of the Illuminati. So on top is finance, religion, politics, media. They own all of this. Finance, religion. They've got their religions, and most of the religions that you think are real are part of their religions. Even some of the so-called denominations that we were once Christian, I told y'all how the Baptists, full gospel Baptists, are now under the, the Catholic Church, yeah. under the Pope now. And we know the Pope is, no Catholicism is just the continual, uh, continuation of Constantine, which is the old Roman Catholic system of just incorporating all the pagan religions under one umbrella, which is what Catholicism means, universal, which means universal means everybody included, inclusion, everything goes, say amen. So they own that religion, they own the money, and they own the politics, and they own the media. Now look, the top level is where those in the possession of total awareness and knowledge stand. They can, they can then manipulate those below. So the, the, on the top level where you see the illuminated symbol, that, that eye, that, that, that illumination, that means they can see. They know the truth. They know what's going on. They understand how the world works. They know who the real God is and who ain't. The next level down uh, uh, which consists of the shields and the front men, uh, such as politicians and religious leaders who are initiated in different ways into convincing those below. So this is why how can these politicians are all owned by the people who own the money. If they own the money, they own the politicians. Why do you think, politi why do you think politicians need campaign money in order to get elected? Who do you think gives them the money to get elected? It's the people at the top. And if, and if, and if, and if I gave you the money, what you going to do for me? What I want you to do? And if you don't, we will knock you off or we will blackmail you because uh, we got your business. Why you think the NSA is spying on everybody? Why you think the Congress can't do nothing? Everybody's hand tied because the NSA is still spying on everybody. They know all them congressional people's secrets. And if they go against Obama, they're going to get exposed. That's why anybody's saying nothing. That's why that's what NSA was doing. They even know your secret. That's why you better live right. Even when your computer's off, live right. They, I, I told you, I just, I just show, I, I don't know if I showed it to my wife, but they got this thing now where they, they showing you where a person can access your camera and be watching you while you sitting there. One dude, these hackers was doing it and took pictures of a girl. She was had her computer open, she was naked. They took pictures of her. She was just walking in her room, but they took pictures of her and blackmailed her with it. These, these technology is tracking devices, and don't and, and and it's not the camera on the computer. The whole thing is a camera. The TV, these TVs now are smart TVs. 
It ain't, y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all can handle this. The TV is a camera. It ain't a camera on the TV. The whole thing. It's a camera. These little devices are cameras. That's why we live right in front of them. <laughs> we live right here, but especially in front of them. Don't say nothing you don't want to know how to know. The phone in your pocket is a camera. It's a tracking device. They can turn it on and off and listen to you while you're talking. There. That's how they catch criminals now. That's, why, that's what the big thing about the NSA was about, is that they used to have to get wants to spy on you. Now they can just spy on you. That's why they want all your information. That's why they always want to tie in your phone number with your Facebook. And they want to get your Facebook from your YouTube. And they want to tie that in with just trying to figure out how to get your address. and Because they want to get they're putting a foul on you. And that's why you can't get online with that. They want too much information. You can't even go to the store and pay. And that's why we, you know, I just like to end it. Here, end it. Here, it's cash money. We ain't got to talk no more. <laughs> Yesterday we was at the store. I gave the woman cash. She has my phone number. I'm like, I always got a phone number to give you, though. It ain't going to be the one, my number. But I give, I'll give you a phone number, though. But I was just wondering, well, why, why, why you need my number for? See, people, I, I, see, this is all, the B system is about data. That's why in Utah they building the beast facility where they got these big servers and computers that will that they said will track every person in the world. Everything you buy, everywhere you are. That's why they're trying to put cameras in every city. That's the reason why most people get you know what most people get caught by, they don't know. They get caught by ATM cameras. ATM cameras is a person be doing some ATM camera, they 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 can access the ATM camera and see what you did. All cities are becoming smart cities where they're putting cameras in all cities so they can track everything you do. Facebook has biometric software that every picture you put on there goes into a database. That's why if you ever put a picture on there and they know who that picture is, the computer say they know who it is because it's, 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 it's biometric already. Facebook is part of the B system. That's why the Zuckerberg got it. I don't even want to go into who he is. But all of it's the B system. It's for data information. How do you think, how do you think they're going to be able to track who can buy or sell? They got to have the information. And the information is what, and right now we are volunteering it. We're giving them information. Everything, every, our habits, what we buy, what we look at online, and they got a file on you. That's why you be on Facebook and all of a sudden something you were searching for will come up on the side. And you say, why didn't why they know I want why they know I would want this? Because they already got you. They already, they already tracking you. So I tell you, don't be into no pornography, don't be into nothing if you don't want nobody to know. So they got files on you. That's the beast system. The beast, that's the beast says how you gonna track you. And then it's coming down to where he's getting people used to being tracked, used to not having privacy. So what's the next step? Let me just go and put the chip in you, and then you, you ain't got to worry about it. We got you now. Y'all there? Let me go here. Okay, so the bottom, the bottom out of what I call the sheeple, the sheeple out of ignorant, the ones that, that follow what they do in the war show, the ones that be into the Super Bowl thinking this is real, the ones that the ones that follow all the media and believe in all the stuff that the news say, these are the sheeple. The ones that really believe the people they see is the ones doing stuff. The ones that the ones that believe there's no conspiracy. They believe every every mass shooting, they believe it the way they say it. Always some lone gunmen on drugs that do this stuff. Say man, and we never seem to know. Nobody ever asked the question, where are all the bodies from Sandy Hook? Where are them kids at? They never showed the bodies. There ain't no bodies. There are no bodies. They show later these, these fake Photoshop photos that they don't, these people who said their kids was there, these people, they Photoshopped the kids in a photo and you can see it's messed up. That whole thing was a lie. But you know, you come face to face with a conspiracy that's so big that the very existence caused a person's mind not to be able to receive it. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? What did they yell after they did it? That's what you got to know. Why would they do that? What did they yell? Take your gun. It was about the guns. Why do they want you disarmed? 
Why do they want you disarmed? Because the stock market and all of this money going to collapse. All of it's going to collapse, and it's going to collapse soon. They know it's going to be riots in the street, and Americans have the most guns than anybody in the world. I mean, we got 30 guns per person in this, in this country. So they don't want Americans to fight, to rise up in revolution. So the first thing they do before they implement socialism or communism, if you study Russia and Cuba and uh, Mao Zedong, they take your guns first. They strip the people from being able to protect themselves. Then they come in and they destroy you after that. And some of y'all just so slow, oh, they, this is just the guns are bad. Ain't no, never been no gun bad. Gun protect, that's somebody breaking your house. Gun's good. Gun will protect you. Gun is just like money. A gun is just like money. It depends on who, who's behind it. It can protect or it can destroy. That's just depending on who's behind it. The point is, you, the, the, the reason why I knew it was a lie, and you ain't got to believe me, go online and study. This Sandy Hook thing, they know it was a hoax. They blew it wide open. Everybody blew it wide open. There was actors. The guy, the, guy, the guy that was first on that, he come on the, the, two hours, three hours after the, his child done died, he's on there talking, I don't want y'all to design. But before he got on camera, he was over here laughing and smiling. They, he didn't know he was on camera, he was over here laughing and smiling. As soon as they said, come on, we ready, he, oh, and he got into his character. They proved he's an actor. Most of them people living in up, Upper and Sandy Hook were CIA people. I ain't got time to go into it. But see, conspiracy is so big, that the, it's so monstrous. Why would they do that? It ain't gonna be that way. But yet you can see it happening before your eye, but no, we, it ain't what's going on. People are good. Why would they do that? That's what this gun debate is about. This, this gun debate ain't about you, ain't about saving no children. If they was worried about kids, they'd be up in Chicago <laughs> trying to save them kids that's getting killed every day. Those kids are dropping like flies. Why was no outrage about them children? It was about, they needed an incident. The same way 9-11 was used to take our rights away. How in the world did they find the hijackers' identification, passport, everything laying outside, but they didn't find no bodies of nobody? Why are we so slow? They, 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 they and all this fine, but they, they, they passport just fell out of the pocket on the ground. All nine of them. But they said because of the thermite that they used, which was not an airplane fuel, had made the, made the steel melt like lava, they said everything was totally burnt. Even they couldn't find bodies. How they find this? ID laying out here within an hour. Now, we was watching it within one hour. Muhammad Atta. I don't know why I remember his name, but I just remember Muhammad Atta. How did we know where his passport was found? People don't think. But see, when it's, when, see, the trick of Satan is, is he knows you're dealing with an ignorant population. That if you do something big enough, it becomes too big to believe. Why would they do that? That's the question. Why would they do that? Don't worry about the why. Look at what happened afterwards. What happened afterwards? What was the crime? Saddam Hussein, he had nothing to do with that. But what we don't know was Saddam was about ready to go against the, 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 the petrol dollar, which is the... Uh, uh, all the oil in the world has to be exchanged through. This is why the stuff going to collapse. All the, oil, all the oil in the world is exchanged through dollars. What that means is any country that wants oil, they have to take their currency. Let's say, let's say if China wants oil. Before they can go to the Middle East and buy oil, they have to buy dollars. Then buy oil which keeps America's economy super strong because we ain't got to export nothing or have nothing. Our dollar is powerful enough that we ain't got to get nobody nothing, so we get an exchange rates, right? So every, every nation in the world, Russia, everybody, before they buy oil, they must buy our dollars, right? So ain't, ain't that a, a good racket? What a great racket. Now, who owns the dollars? The people that own the Federal Reserve Bank. Well, who is that? It's not America. It's the bankers. These elite people, they own the bank, right? Come on, talk to me. I'm trying to educate you here. They own the bank. They print the dollars out of thin air. 
You like you can't get no more gangster than that. That's the greatest gangster there is. I'm gonna train you real hard stuff for paper. But because of the military might, you gonna pay it. We became a bully. So what Saddam did, he started trading or his oil, he started taking euros. He was bypassing the petrodollar. So now America, now all of a sudden, we got to go to war now. It wasn't about no, he was no, they always call him a dictator, weapons of mass destruction. No, it was about, he was about ready to bypass the dollar. Let's talk more. Can y'all handle this? Conspiracy is so monstrous, it's hard to believe that it exists. Gaddafi. Oh, he's a dictator. You know, that's what they put on him. He's killing his people. What did Gaddafi do? He said at the UN and exposed the New World Order. He said, I'm going to start, I'm going to, to he, was, he, he was getting ready to take gold and build a new economy for Africa. The whole Africa was going to go on a gold system and it would have had a new economy. They, all of a sudden, he's a dictator. They went over and killed him. See, this is what all of this is about. But you watching CNN. And they telling you it's about these leaders and it's about all oh, the kids that die. They don't care about no kids. <laughs> care about no kids. Israel killed so many Palestinians. They don't care about no kids over there. If they care about kids, they would say something to Israel from killing all the kids over there. Those ain't the true Jews. <laughs> Study it out. I know I'm blowing your mind, but you got to, because that's what's behind a lot of this stuff. They're not the true Jews. That's why the Bible says that in, in, in Revelation that there's some, that's, some that say they are Jews, but they are, of, they are the, of the synagogue of Satan. It's called Zionism. Those Zionist Jews, which was Ashkenazi Jews, that, come out of, that came out, they're really Russians. That came out of the Khazar Mountains, right where Sochi, is, the Olympics is now. All that cold mountain, that's where they came from. They adopted Judaism. The real Hebrews look like Egyptians. That's the reason why they couldn't tell Joseph from the Egyptian. Oh, we don't think about that. We sit no worship in these cats. No, they're not the real ones. But this is part of it. Oh, I ain't got time to go. So, remember, we was, we was just going to go to war with Syria. What was it about? What do they say about him? He's a dictator. He's, he, he used the gas stuff on the people. Then they found out it was, it, was, it was the Muslims brotherhood that actually did it. But they was ready to replace him. And Russia said, no, sir, we're tired of this. Y'all not replace, keep re regime changing, replacing all these people. Russia stood up. Now we're about ready to go to war now with Russia. Iran and Russia together. Iran, Russia, China, and here go America over here. And we failed because our money, we owe China the money. Whole nother level of conversation. This is the reason why your government is buying billions of bullets. They buying billions, billions of bullets. Remember my wife just saw yesterday, the post office. I was like, what? The post office is buying billions of guns. The post office, the Department of Education, Homeland Security, they buying stockpiling bullets and guns. I wonder why. Do they know what's coming? Of course they do. Ain't going to be no terrorists. It's going to be Americans when they realize that the, our money is gone. Europe is, England is saying right now they're about ready to take the money out of the accounts of the people to, feel, to, to, to give it to the bankers that messed up the system in the first place. Now, can we talk? Come on, let's talk. Let, let me just enlighten y'all a little bit. If you really, see, we don't even know this stuff. We don't study this stuff out. The five top bankers within the last three weeks have committed suicide, they say. You know, the Goldman Sachs bankers, the ones that did that, that really destroyed us in 2008, them Goldman Sachs bankers, they dead now. They, st they, they starting to die. They ain't committing suicide, but they saying it's suicide because they said one guy committed suicide by shooting himself multiple times with a nail gun. <laughs> now, I don't know if you understand what a nail gun is, <laughs> but you ain't going to shoot yourself that many times with no nail gun. He was killed. Why? Because the collapse is inevitable. They must collapse the system. 
and they must catch you off guard. So you cannot prepare yourself. They got to collapse it. This is what the elite are doing. Uh, a guy by the name of Bruce, he was in, well, no, 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 um, what's the dude that Glenn Beck used to talk about all the time? That, uh, uh, I can't think of what his name is. The Staley, the, uh, anyway, I know I, I, I got Soros. George Soros, which is the one big billionaire who's behind a lot of this stuff too, he said years ago China would be the world's number one world power. We must decrease America. So that's the reason why when Obama came in, everything just keeps going down and down. It's not that, I don't know if Obama's a bad dude or not. I ain't, it ain't him. It's people behind him. He can't say nothing. Because if he say something, they're going to go and get his gay files. <laughs> That's what he's running from. Y'all, 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 y'all. y'all. This, this, you, this, is, this is public knowledge. I know we don't, black people don't believe because we fight for that. Just that he got gay files. They know it. He, they know it. Before he got elected, he was with some, he, the, no, Reverend Wright. The praise leader of Reverend Wright's church. Had an affair with Obama. They, the guy, they killed that guy before Obama got elected because he was about to talk. The white guy came out, Larry Summers. Larry Summers, the white guy, came out and said it. But the media, the media going to crush that. They, they ain't going to say nothing about it. So they know. Why do you think a man will keep pushing stuff like this? A man, no straight man going to push that. He's by or he's down low, but he, no straight man going to keep pushing this. Now, you know, okay, 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 I believe in equality. Okay, okay, fine. But they're going beyond the call of duty here. We're going to special rights. And now you got transgenders mad if you call them a man. Now it's confusing. Now the transgenders want special rights. So if you really think about it, who has benefited from this administration? It ain't white people, trust me. And it ain't black people. It's one class of people. Because in order to destroy America, you had to do what Balaam, what ba what Balaam showed Balak. You had to get them to curse themselves through sexual immorality. Now that we into this sexual stuff, storm, earthquake, sinkholes, crazy stuff is happening. We can't get out of the winter. It's just winter all the time now. And we don't know what's happening because when you fool around with nature, nature will revolt against you. When you try to mess with God's... So nature's showing you what's wrong. Every time they pass that stuff, something major happens. They just had an earthquake in South Carolina. That's unheard of. This is what's happening in this nation. Because it's just hope and shame. Hope and all we got, we got a little bit of change. We'll catch it when we get home. Y'all there. Now, let me get done. Oh, God, I'll be getting off y'all. Y'all be getting me off. I got to close. It's 1 o'clock. Look at this. I know y'all can't see that. Okay, then. I know you can't see it, but I'll, I'll try to get it on. The Illuminati network structure shapes much like, uh, um, shape much uh, like demonstrated here. Scaled down considerably, you can observe how all of the interlocking pyramids or compartments all have elite capstones, which does not compose the entire Illuminati, but does connect into, ne uh, into uh, nevertheless. The, all the elites of the internal compartments uh, like the, uh, I can't see, uh, I think it says by something religion, politics, or finance, a name, da, 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 da. in other words, this is the, how the, inside of, the, it works where there's one compartment inside of another compartment, inside of another compartment. Every compartment doesn't necessarily know what the other compartment is doing. That's how you really deceive people is you only give them information based on what they're doing. They don't know what, the, that's why a person who's doing something wrong, they don't know that they're part of a bigger thing. They just think, like these rappers, they don't know they're part of this bigger thing to inoculate you 
to receive the messages that you need to receive in order to uh, cause the, 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 the consciousness to fall from grace. So that's what's happening. We are reaching, mad, what's it called? Um, critical mass. That's what Oprah was talking about. Once a, once a society reaches critical mass, a paradigm shift happens where now the old system goes away and the new system comes. And so that's why, that's why, every, that's why they're using homosexuality to, to do this. That's why you can't watch a movie, every show, everything. You can't watch nothing. There'd be good stuff on TV. You'd be watching, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, they put this garbage in there. Why they keep doing this? Children cartoons, everything. Why? Because they got to get you to accept that lie. Once people accept it, we're going to reach critical mass. That means it's like the Bible called it the cup of iniquity. That means when a people begins to believe in a great degree against the, the laws of God. Is this too much? Then once, once people believe it to the, great, to the highest degree, then all of a sudden the old system goes away. Now people almost feel like something's wrong with you if you say something's wrong with homosexuality. It used to didn't be that way. It used to be something's wrong with you that you ain't say nothing. We reach a critical mass. It shows you how you're conditioned now to be down with what God said is an abomination. Critical mass. Say amen. Let me get down here. I don't have time to deal with that. I want to get to this one point here. I don't know if I'm going to get through with that. I don't have time to really deal with this. This is this, this Bilderberg people are part of the uh, elite. That's all what the power elite be doing. They had to be out there worshiping up in California uh, in the red groves. Uh, this is good. I want to show you this right here. Um, this is a brief introduction to the power force. This is, these are the forces that are actually behind the scenes doing stuff that you think it's a country and it's president. It ain't got nothing to do with this. The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is America's Trojan horse. It's a private organization that has never been audited and prints money unconstitutionally, and very few dare to oppose it after JFK. That's why, they, that, that's why JFK got killed. JFK said he was going to do away with the Federal Reserve because the Federal Reserve was implemented back in 1930. It was illegally done. And basically, uh, before the Federal Reserve, America would print its own money. The government would print its own money. But these, these elite groups, uh, Rockefeller, Rothschilds, they came together and found a way to blackmail America into the Federal Reserve. And the way they did it was they did it through, um, uh, through destroying the stock market back in the Depression era. That's how they got America to go along with the Federal Reserve. They destroyed, they imploded the stock market. So then uh, the, the presidents allowed this to come into play. Now, th now they started printing our money out of thin air, charging us interest. That's why if you take your money out, the, your money says this is a debt. It's a note for debt. It's a debt. So that means, listen to me, let me show you how this works real quick. Every, every, every dollar that's printed is printed with interest, right? So let's say to print one dollar, you need a dollar and a quarter. So if I print a dollar, you're going to owe me, I'm printing a dollar and giving it to the American government, which the American government getting the money to pay back from the people. So when the American government takes money from the Federal Reserve, the, they gave him a dollar, but they owe a dollar and a quarter. Let's just say a dollar and a quarter. Now, there's no, now, now in order to pay back the interest, you have to print there's no money to pay the interest back, except you print more debt. Do you see how? That's the reason why we are in trillions of dollars of debt. Because you cannot pay back the interest. Because in order to, okay, if you, if, okay, to pay back a trillion dollars, you got to pay back the trillion plus the interest. So the interest has to be printed too. So you never get out of debt. So that's why the Bible says you become a slave. And whenever countries can't get out of debt, what do they do? They go to war. That's why this war is scary to come to this country now. That's the only way to, did you know that's how you are? That's how we was in the street. If I owe you too much and I ain't, can't pay you, I got to fight you. <laughs> Once we fight, it's over. <laughs> we got to fight. <laughs> Once we fight, it's over. That's what happens. Well, that's what's going to happen. We got to go to war because I ain't going to pay you, so I got to fight you. Look at this. 
Okay, let me show you something. The World Bank, the IMF, the, they, they, listen, they cra crashes economies and destroys governments. It's owned by 30 or 40 of the richest people in the world. This, this is what they're doing in every country, right? Like right now down in Argentina, they just crashed their economy. Their peso is cut in half. That means whatever their peso was buying, they can only buy half now. It happened overnight. What was going to happen when the American dollar get cut overnight? It's going to be chaos. What you going to do? You going to go to the bank. What the bank going to say? It's going to, they call it a bank holiday. Well, you know what a bank holiday is? I mean, when the bank said, we ain't got no bread. Ain't no bread coming out. Click, click, close it up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You gonna go get your gun. You gonna go. You gonna try to run to the. To the you gonna try to run to the grocery store. If you're smart, you be trying to run to the grocery store, trying to get whatever's left. Because if ain't nothing, because if ain't no more money coming in, the truckers ain't gonna get paid to truck the stuff in. So ain't gonna be no food coming. And they've already used this, this weapon. I ain't got time to show you this. This scalar weapon they got that they they made a drought in 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 in, uh, in California, and that's gonna that's gonna destroy California where we get 80 percent of produce in this nation. And so now we got a drought in California, and that's why they, see, oh, I ain't got time to, oh, God, I ain't got time. You know, you know, these, these chemtrails you see in the air, you know, they keep flying around with these chemtrails. You see them, they keep doing that. Do you, people don't know what that is. It's weather control. They, they, are, they are releasing alumin, aluminum, barium, and strong, strontium in the air. And what it does, it causes the rain, it soaks up the rain so the rain won't fall. The wind pushes it from one area to the next area. So that means the rain should have failed here in California. We don't want it to fall in California. We want drought in California. You say, why do they want to drought in California? Well, it's control. It's control. They push that. Now all this rain coming to us. That's why we can't get out of winter. It's drought in California, but we over precipitated. I ain't got time to show you. Look up the harp weapon. You'll find out. Okay, so this is what the IMF Bank is doing. Let's see. PNAC, Project for New American Century, promotes the ideology of total U.S. world domination through the, through the use of force. It's CFI front organization. This is why they're using America for military power. So America is going to be, they're going to use America, n n not us, you sheeple. <laughs> they call you useless feeders. That's what Powell Lee think of you. That's what Ted Turner and them talking about. You used to speed us. They want everybody. They think the population should drop down around under a billion people. So that just tell you how crazy these people really are. But so, but they 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 using America for the might, the military, so that the military can uh, uh, dominate through the through force. Uh, you, that's why they built up the military. That's why I see all these drones. They mad at Obama because he got all these drones now. They they, they 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 these drones is what they ain't even fighting no more. They just using drones to drop bombs on people. And they're killing innocent people over it, dropping bombs through drones. That's what they're using now. So the, so, so the warfare is a little different now. Let me get done. Uh, FEMA. FEMA is the Federal Emergency Management Association. This is the Illuminati front with the power to, spend Amer to suspend America's Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and move entire populations, seize property, uh, uh, and detain citizens. Now, this is arrest and detain citizens. This is what they used in Katrina. In New Orleans, they used FEMA to come in with martial law, took those people's guns. Now, why did they take their gun? They, took, they went door to door, took everybody's guns. Total, and kept those people on that bridge, on that highway. Kept them out, in, kept them out there. That's what, that's what, more, that's what, now see, this is, oh, I ain't got time to go into all of this stuff, Lord help me. Uh, but this is what, uh, this, is, this is what Obama passed the NDAA Act, which says he can legally detain of any American citizen for any reason for however long they want to. That was passed in the law. That means they ain't got to have a reason to lock you up. Why would they make a bill like that? Because something's coming. Something's coming. They, and this is the reason why they're pushing for the guns. That's why you got Chris Morgan, these people, they just trying to come up with, they keep on bringing up these Sandy Hook kids and these Sandy Hook kids and you're trying to figure out why are they trying to do, why they, why, why is all these long gum and they keep letting, these people are MK Ultra. They, they know these people are going to do this because they're trying to get in your mind, it's the guns, it's the guns, it's the guns. Why? Because that's what Britain did. When, they di when, when Britain had a mass shooting, they took all the guns from the people. Now the Britons over said, we wish we would have never let them take our guns. Because now the government, you have no control against your government. Guns was never to, for people used against the people. The militia, the Second Amendment was written for, gov for people to have weapons against the government. Because they came out of 
the founding fathers understood King George. King George was a, ty was a tyrant. So they said, you shall not take away our right to bear arms. These arms are not for our neighbors and they ain't to hunt. It's to make sure that if you govern, if you cats get out of control, we can come and do something about it. That's what guns was for. But now, because we think our government loves us so much and we're so safe, and they're trying to take the guns, and then the minute the guns are gone, watch what happens. These same people going to be, I didn't know that it's going to be that. The same people going to realize what's happening. Are y'all there? Are y'all understand what I'm saying? Now, ain't it hypocritical? Now, now I'm, I'm going to tell y'all my philosophy. If the government buy guns, I'm buying guns. If they buy them, I'm buying them. They got bullets, I got bullets. I got to figure out why y'all got bullets. Ask, don't ask me why. Ask them. Ask them why they got them. I'm trying to figure out why they need a billion bullets. They are about, they, look, this is, you can look it up. They bought a billion bullets. The, the gun manufacturers are alarmed saying, why are the government sending us orders for billions of bullets and guns? Why? Because they know something. They said they, they said the government has bought enough bullets, and listen to the kind of bullets, not, not what bullets you go to war with, small arms ammunition. That means citizen stuff. Hollow points. They said they got enough bullets to fight a war for 20 years. Why do they need them bullets for? Nobody asked the question. But they disarming you while they arming themselves. It don't make sense to me. I would think, well, at least let me have one or two. You got a billion bullets. Give me a hundred bullets. I mean, I ain't going to shoot nobody, but I just want it because it's my right. <laughs> it's my right to have it. I'm going to have it because it's my right. For all y'all that don't know, it's your right. You ain't got to have it. Don't knock me. Well, you ought to trust God. Well, you trust God. <laughs> I ain't stopping you from trusting God. I, it, my, my guns ain't for God. They for the people I don't trust. I trust God. I don't trust them niggas out there that gonna run in my house. I ain't worried. God ain't coming through to do nothing wrong. You know who's coming through. I and I ain't worried about no stuff. I mean, you can have. I ain't gonna. You can take my stuff, but don't touch my people. I ain't, I'm talking about them cats that want to take and then rape and rob. Nah, 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 nah. We got to stop you. Man, you can take the food or whatever you want, but don't you start trying to, you know, do the bodily thing. Well, we got the gun, you know. You, you ain't going gonna to do no raping and robbing. You can rob, but you ain't going to rape. Them. Say amen. amen. So, so it's funny how we've been conditioned. As, and, 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 and listen, did you know the only reason they saying that now was because black people are, are thinking about gun weapons? That black, it's a known fact black people are the fastest gun buyers now. Legal, no, legal guns. Most of them people killing each other, that's illegal guns. Them is thugs. Thug ain't never going to buy no legal gun. A thug ain't buy no legal weapon. The thug ain't rest. That's why they, they try to pass laws. You think a thug going to give you their gun? The gun's illegal. Thug on, uh, thugs carry illegal weapons. I was a thug. I never had, I don't know how I got guns. I ain't never bought none. It was never through no right channels. I didn't go give nobody no ID. We got guns the way thugs get guns. You get guns from fiends. That's how we got guns. A little bit of dope, you can get any gun you want. I don't know if this gun might have been used in a killing. Who knows? But that's how thugs get guns. Now you think a, a thug going to come and say, okay, let me give y'all my gun. It's going to be citizens. Real people that are law abiding going to do that. And the thug going to be the one out there having a the ball. Because ain't nobody armed. So let's kick your door in. You ain't got no gun. Moving on. All right, let me get done. I ain't going to get done. I ain't going to get done with this. It's three parts of this. NSA, I'm just going to read this last one. I'll be done. NSA, National Security Agency, the largest, most secretive spy agency in the world. It states, it's, it's state of our computer systems are used to monitor all humanity. That's what they, uh, y'all know Edward Snowden. Y'all know they got a, Edward Snowden revealed it. That's why they mad at him because he told, he showed what the government, not only was America spying on us, they were spying on the world. They were spying on Germany and China and everybody. So now everybody's mad at us. So America's in trouble. America's in trouble. Amen. All right, go, go over here. Get your Bible real quick. Let me give you one scripture. I'm done. I ain't got time to just keep going, but I, that's, that's enough for y'all to study. Go over to Revelation. Revelation chapter 13.
this is the reason why when I uh, preach, I preach in a way where I don't really play. It ain't about no big church no more. It ain't about how many people come or go. It ain't about that to me now. I know what's coming. And I'd rather be right with God in my heart, knowing that if I die tomorrow or today or whenever, I'm safe with God. I don't want to be deceived. I don't want to sit in church and be deceived. And that's why I talk so strong, and people may call it crazy sometimes, but I talk this way because I understand deception. Jesus said, when disciples asked Jesus about the last days, Jesus said, take heed that no man deceive you. So people are going to be deceived, think they're going to heaven and sitting in church and going to hell because they didn't understand that you have to live. You have to be, you have to live under a convicting word where the word of God convicts your soul constantly. You can't live under a word where you always right. It got to be where God convicts you. Are y'all there? How are you going to repent if you ain't never convicted? So God convicts you to say, oh, you know what? I am wrong. That's me. Yeah, that was me. Conviction makes you repent. But if a preacher's only preaching, you know, butter toast and, you know, you know, nice apple butter and, you know, smooth uh, biscuits and, and all that, if you don't doing that, man, you ain't gonna never repent because everything's too good. But he's got he got to serve something that you don't like sometimes to show you that you got to you kind of pick it when it comes to the word of God. You don't eat the whole loaf. You sensitive in this area. <laughs> Say amen. Look at this. Revelation 13, verse 15. I mean, verse 14. Verse 14. I don't know where to go with this. Verse 11. Let's start verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose wound, whose deadly wound was healed. He's talking about the Antichrist, talking about the false prophet giving the power to the Antichrist. And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. Look at this lying wonders. People gonna think, oh, he may he doing look how people caught up. Right now, I was watching something this morning, how this guy went on a news show and he was able to draw what this this lady was, he told this lady, draw whatever you want to draw on the paper, and what you draw, I'm gonna draw. I ain't going to look, I'm going to draw. And he drew it, and she was, they was all amazed and shocked. I said, ooh, I, I wish I could tell you what he did. <laughs> it ain't nothing but a devil. I mean, what, what is it? it's called clairvoyance. The Bible talks about that. But people were amazed. Amazed, because somebody's operating in some supernatural power. And that's, and that's how people are going to be deceived, because of the power. That's why the Bible said this, and this, this Antichrist is going to call fire down from heaven and fight a man. And people are going to say, woo, look at that. He must be the Messiah. Look at this. He says, uh, and, and, and look, verse 14, and deceiveth, deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. It's, now, you know what Nebuchadnezzar did. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he, listen, here we go. And he caused all both small, great, rich, poor, free, and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. That no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. This man is living today. He's on the earth. He's living today. They kind of know who he is, but I ain't going to say it right now. But he's living. This man is on the earth. So that tells you, you don't have time. Everybody will either take the mark or give a reason why. And this will cost you your life. Oh, what preaching that we don't hear no more. Amen. Oh, how hard is it going to be for people to lay their life down when they never heard they was going to ever have to? Oh, I thought we all going to have no little rowboat. No, sir. Who is Jesus talking to? I mean, who was Jesus is giving this revelation to John. Who is he talking to? Why, he ain't talking to heathens who ain't saved. 
Why is he talking to heathen who ain't saved when he's talking about this mark to be killed? He's talking about folks who are saved. You're going to have to make a decision. I don't know if it'll be everybody, but I don't know. It may be you. I know I would rather be ready. I would rather love him enough to know that I would do it. I don't want to be so in love with the world that I'm afraid. And, oh, you ain't hearing me. I believe that by the time this stuff you're at happen, the world's going to be so bad. We ain't going to care about this earth. It's going to be so much darkness and destruction. Because if you study this out in Revelation 13, some of, the, some of the plagues have already happened to the earth. So the earth was already torn up and in turmoil. So we ain't going to want to live here too long. It's going to be hell on earth. And this is the reason why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that some of, the, some of them women uh, didn't even want to be delivered, but they'd rather go ahead and die that they may receive a greater reward. And I said, God, what kind of grace is that? That they could have been delivered, but they said, nah, that's all right. I'd rather go ahead and get a greater reward because I know greater love had no man than he laid down his life for his friend. So this is the Christianity that we in now. This is the narrow road Christianity. The, th the, the third phase Christianity. It ain't the broad road where everybody's saved. Everybody going ahead. It ain't, it's not, we ain't into that. We in that narrow road that few find it. And you better decide who, who you're going to serve. I say you better decide who you're going to serve. Because you're going to bow now or you're going to bow later. But every knee must bow. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. 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 Will you be ready?